as you know we can click on the video icon on any uh, activity chip and it will play back the video here and uh, now a lot of the videos you take by default the volume is turned down on the videos so you can see that right here it's all the way down here and it's obviously quite noisy here you could have the operators talking the gun working here the fortless going by and so forth so this uh, video is not very good for training purposes what we do is we give you an option up the top here to click on the audio here and what you can do here you can record your own audio so if I play the video I can come in here I can record my audio here and then what I'm saying now is going to become the audio track to this particular piece of video Now that's obviously very simple if you have a very short uh, uh, video you can't make too many mistakes but if you've got a long video scene might be difficult, you might mumble, you might stumble, that type of thing. So it might be more appropriate for you to use an external program to do the recording. Uh, Windows um, Movie Maker would be one and such thing where you can put your own uh, audio on there. Uh, then what you have is you get a separate external file that you want to add. So we do give you an option here to import. You can click on the import right here. And then you can locate the video. So in my case I just stuck it into my temporary area here. up a couple of different formats, see WAV, MP3, WMA, this is WMA here, so we just click it here, and then we click on the open. And what's going to happen here, that recorded audio is going to become associated with this particular video here. So if we come out here and we play it back, uh, we would now hear the audio as well as the, um, the video here. Parts include the three copper gaskets and two brake lines. We order the spec the parts from the top 